this video we will discuss the differences between belt drive and chain drive so the very first difference belt drive is one friction drive though so the belt drive is a flexible friction drive in which the motion is transmitted from the driver shaft to the driven shaft due to the friction between the belt and the pulley so there is a friction in between the inner surface of the belt and the pulley and due to which the motion is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft now the chain drive chain drive is one engagement drive so here you can see the chain and sprocket arrangement so it is a flexible engagement drive here the motion is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft due to successive engagement and disengagement of the chain with the sprocket so there is a neg negligible friction in between the chain and sprocket whereas uh, in case of belt drive the motion is transmitted due to friction only next point belt drive is one non positive drive because of frequent slip and creep so here the motion is transmitted due to the friction in between the inner surface of the be uh, belt and the outer surface of the pulley now if the load increases beyond the frictional force in that case the slip occur in between the belt and the pulley and hence we are not getting a exact velocity ratio and hence the belt drive is known as non positive drive because there is a slip okay now the chain drive chain drive tend to offer a positive drive as it is free from the slip now in case of chain drive the motion is transmitted due to successive engagement and disengagement of the chain from the sprocket okay so here uh, the chain do not slip over the sprocket and hence we are getting exact velocity ratio and hence the chain drive is also known as a positive drive next point belt drive is preferred for medium to large center distance now these there are different type of drives and these drives are used for transmitting the power from the prime mover to the machineries okay so uh, the various type of drive like gear drive is used when the distance is less so whenever we want to transmit the power from one shaft to another and that distance is within 1 meter in that case we can use the gear drive when the distance is from 3 to 15 meter uh then we can use the belt drive for transmitting the power the flat belt drive and when the distance is less than 1 meter in that case we can use a v belt drive for transmitting the power so the belt drive is preferred for medium to large center distance now the chain drive chain drive is preferred for small to medium center distance so the chain drive is used for transmitting the power for small to medium center distance because if uh, if we want to transmit the power over a large distance in that case we have to use a long chain and the chain is comparatively heavier than the belt so ultimately your uh, system weight will increased and hence the chain drive is preferred for small to medium center distance next point only one face of the belt can be utilized for transmitting the motion and power so in case of belt drive only one side can be used for transmitting the power so here you can see only this inner surface of the belt and the outer surface of the pulley comes in contact while transmitting the power whereas in case of v belt only the outer two surface of the belt come in contact while transmitting the power whereas in case of chain drive both faces of the chain can be simultaneously utilized for transmitting the motion and power so in case of chain and sprocket arrangement we can use both faces the outer and the inner face while transmitting the power between the shaft next point due to friction loss efficiency of the belt drive is comparatively low that is 90 to 96% so as you know the motion is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft due to the friction in case of belt drive and that friction decreases the efficiency of the entire system okay there are some other factors also which decreases the efficiency of the system like the initial tension in the belt slip in the belt 
creep in the belt so due to the friction due to the friction loss the efficiency of the belt drive is comparatively low now the chain drive so negligible friction loss result higher efficiency in the chain drive 95 to 98 percent so as you know uh, in case of chain drive the power and motion is transmitted due to successive engagement and disengagement of the chain from the sprocket and there is a negligible friction and hence we are getting maximum efficiency that is 95 to 98 percent next point workroom temperature influences the performance of the belt drive now the belt are made up of either leather or the rubber and with the increase in the temperature the length of the belt increases and that will increase the chances of slip and with the decrease in the temperature the length of the belt get also decrease and that will increase the tension in the system and that will uh, increase the load over the shaft and ultimately on the bearing okay so the workroom temperature influences the performance of the belt drive now the chain drive chain drive is usually not affected by the workroom temperature so uh, a small change in the temperature does not create any uh, any changes in the length of the chain okay and uh, there will be no slip in the chain drive and there is no uh, there the load will not get increased in case of chain drive with the change in the temperature then the belt drive although belt drive is commonly used for parallel shaft a quarter turn belt can be employed for perpendicular shafts also so uh, uh, commonly the belt drive is used for transmitting the power when the two shafts are parallel to each other and when the two shafts are perpendicular to each other then also we can use the belt drive arrangement but it is uh, rare in use the type of belt drive arrangement is a quarter turn belt and with this arrangement we can transmit the power when the two shafts are perpendicular to each other now the chain drive chain drive can transmit the power between parallel shafts only so this is a common example of uh, chain and sprocket arrangement that is your bicycle so the chain drive is used when the two shafts are perfectly or exactly parallel to each other and the two sprockets are perfectly aligned to each other then and then we can use the chain drive next point small angular and locational misalignment poses no problem in belt drive performance so here you can see the two shafts are there and here there is a misalignment okay in this shaft so this misalignment will not create any problem while transmitting the power in case of your belt drive now the chain drive chain tends to leave the sprocket if the alignment is not perfect now this is an example of chain and sprocket arrangement so while transmitting the power the two shafts should be exactly parallel to each other if they are misaligned to each other then your chain may fail off from the sprocket next point to tight the belt with pulley an initial tension is desired which increases the load on the shaft so in case of belt drive arrangement an initial tension is required and it depends on the load on the system okay so the initial tension is must while transmitting the power in case of belt drive arrangement and again we have to change this tension also because with the change with the change in the load uh, the length of the belt also increases so we have to check this tension also now the chain drive additional load on the shaft is eliminated in the chain drive as initial tightening is not desired so in case of chain drive uh, there is no issue of initial tensioning so the additional load on the shaft is eliminated the last point belt drive requires minimum lubrication so uh, the belt drive requires occasional lubrication too much lubrication is also not desired because the belt may slip off from the system now the chain drive chain drive requires proper and regular lubrication for longer life so chain drive requires a regular lubrication 
it it do not require the full lubrication which is required in case of gear drive but the uh, regular uh, lubrication is required and also the cost of lubrication that also should be considered while considering the economics of belt drive and chain drive so thank you so much for watching my video thank you